So I stumbled upon a prison somehow and then I ended up over here. These fire slugs, does this just cave just like, it's just part, you know, of your prison? Lady, you know, this lady over here, it's just, it's just here. You would think she would be panicking about these fire slugs and a giant hole in her prison cell. But that's not what she's talking about, I guess. I mean, her whole story is the fact that she tried to run, run away, right? But then she saw the horrors, you know, in the outside world. The, what it, what, what it was? Like the swamps or whatever? And now she just wants to stay in prison because it's safer, I guess. But she's not worried about these slugs, though. Something's up ahead. It's weird. There it is. I saw, like, uh, yeah, the royal fire. So you can talk to them, I guess. Can talk? Yeah. But they're not... I don't have pet pals, so I can't talk to animals. Are these animals? I don't know. Hmm. The fiery oh, fire. creature looms imperiously over you and utters a questioning gurgle. Uh, you don't understand what he's saying. The slime beast's gurgling takes on a more agitated tone. I don't. Uh. The slime beast growls and lurches forward to attack. Okay. Well, this is an animal, so. Royal Fire Slug. I don't know how slugs work in real life, but I imagine, I guess that's the King Slug or the Queen Slug, actually. It's like ants, you know? So, well, I was gonna say like fire ants, but you know, fire ants in real life don't breathe fire, literally, but anyway. I guess we'll just go, I don't know, we'll just go and attack. Dude, these are just animals. I'm being attacked by animals. I'm going to murder it, you know? This is self-defense. Let's walk up and hit it. Whee! I did it. Amazing. A lot of slugs though. How many slugs are there? I see in a torn order. One, two, three. Three so far. Any other, any other slugs around here? Hmm. Let me look around. Where are we, by the way? Are we... Because we're in a cave system. I have, I've been in the cave before. I don't know if it's the same cave. I don't know. Like maybe it connects to the same spot. Or something. Anyway. So Bill is on fire. Not great. I mean, you know, I heal up. It doesn't really matter. I'm just going to be on fire again anyway. Um... She's going... Um... I should, yeah. Hit by those fire slugs, probably. But I think, oh, I'm gonna risk it. Backslash? Backslash! And then, hit the slug! And then, mm, yeah, just hit the slug again. Doesn't have enough AP to do like a. I mean, she can, but, well, we'll see. Because I want her to also get out of there as well, probably. Well, I'm gonna go over here so Sibyl can backstab you in the future. I'm gonna hit you. Like so. And again. And one more time. I guess I could just kill you. No, well, yeah. Still still living. Cordius fire slug? Courteous? A courteous? Courteous? Uh let's see. Let me just hit her. I say her. I don't know. Again, it's like a queen ant, maybe like a queen kind of thing, hive mind thing. Anyway, a lot of fire though. That's a lot of fire. I think it's her time to leave. <laughs> I don't know. Leave. Oh, that's a lot of fire. Uh, throw a knife while you're at it. <laughs> like I, I want her to like just go. Basically, just so she doesn't get hit too much. Steam. Removes burning, okay. Interesting. Fire cloud. She can't go there though. Uh she go in the water though. There's a water over here. So maybe that helped. Hmm. And these slugs don't seem to because I was wondering if these slugs would throw fire at us. But it seems like they can't. Only the the big one can. The royal slug. So I'm fine with uh, Jessica tanking most of these, for the most part. Let's see... That... Hmm... Probably do something like this. 
as well. Knockdown resisted, which is not great, but... And just, you know, hit again. Oh. She needs the healing! Well, okay, fine. I'll use a healing potion. You know, it seems like, you know, any RPG, you just, you just chug those healing potions. Not like in Dark Souls, where you have to actually time your heals. You could just use it whenever, these healing potions. Though it does cause AP, I guess. There is some strategy to using these potions. Pop that potion. And I guess... I mean... If it's only one... Hmm. I mean, it's not so bad. Because I can probably just... Oh. Attack opportunity, goddammit. Okay. Ah, I don't know. We'll see what happens. It's probably horrible. This is probably a horrible idea. Okay. What I'm gonna do is do this. One. Two. And three. Dead. A lot of burning, though. Ah, she burned to death. Okay, well. Another resurrection scroll down the drain. That's not great. But we're probably gonna die, actually. Yeah, we're dead. Okay. And we're dead. We burned to death. Amazing. Hmm. Let's try again. I can pro mm, I can probably do that actually. We were pretty close. Maybe I shouldn't have sent Sybil away. I don't know. You know I, should, I could also use a water balloon as well because I, I have items, you know, to prevent so much so much of that burning. I will try again. Did you hear that? Something's up ahead. Something's up ahead, you don't say. Mm. Heal some of the fire, I guess. Charred corpse. Love fire. I mean, we'll just, we'll just go, I guess. Let's go. The fiery slime creature looms in period. The slime beast. Huh? Oh, okay. It took a bit. Lead fire. Time to encourage. And then just attack. I mean, do the same thing as before. Basically. Backlash. Oh, I'll get a little closer, I guess. Backlash. Oh, but you can't? Ugh, what? Any slugs are going up. And then, let's see. I mean, just hit it, right? I'm thinking. Miss! 95% chance to hit, and I miss. Now, this is actually going a little bit worse, but... Let's see. Over here. Back step. Back step. Uh, let's see. I want to heal. I kind of want the, the thing, the water balloon first. So let's heal first. You know, we we're just going to catch on fire though, as soon as our turn starts, because we're on fire. We're standing on fire anyway, and also hit fire, I guess. Now this lug though, Took a little bit longer to go over here. At least one more turn, anyway. That's helpful. Man, a lot of... Anyway, um... What I'm gonna do... Let's see. 
what happens if I do this? You know, this would probably be helpful, right? It's like everyone chill out, you know? Everyone's wet now. Amazing. Um, and then... Heal. And then do some damage, right? And my turn. Alright, let's see. Hmm... Over here. Uh, attack opportunity, I always forget. Right. Attack opportunity again? What is this? Bleh? I wanted to go behind it, not... I don't know. I don't know how it works in, in this game, but in D&D, you know, you, you only get attack opportunity if you're trying to leave their range. I'm just gonna, I just, I just gonna go around their range, you know? I'm not leaving their range. Bullshit, I'll just attack, I guess. Oh, okay. Alright, I have a big healing potion. I'm gonna have to pop it. It's a big one. It's basically... More, way more than I have, actually. That's 200 HP. So, I had to use it. I had to use it. Let's see. I think I'm gonna do something like this. And then do Bad Ring. I love Bad Ring. This one. Knock everyone on their butt. And then just go for the kill, or one of them at least. Do this. Those in danger, though. Let's see. Attack, attack of opportunity if I move. That's not great. I get backlash, though. I think that helps. Yeah, if I backlash over here, I don't get an attack of opportunity, I think. Right? Yeah. That helps. I'm gonna do this. Dead. On fire, though, however. Hmm. You get that potion. Using a lot of potions. Uh, there, can you buy potions? I mean, probably. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Restock, you know. Up here. Oh, I didn't mean to. <laughs> Wasted AP. I want to hit him. See. I don't want to do this. Like so. Knock him down again. Do this. And maybe cripple Bill. He doesn't move. If I leave though, it's attack opportunity. God damn it. Hmm. Let me heal again, right? I mean I gotta use my resources. Might as well pop two healing potions. Not <laughs> healing potions. I gotta restock. I'm gonna need them in the future. But I can do this. And backstab this one because I'm still at their back. Two hits. Alright. I can also use, let's see, peace of mind, decaying touch, use physical damage. Blinding radiance. Hmm. I use fireball though. I mean, obviously, fireball doesn't sound like a good idea. Peace of mind. That gives you. I mean. Gives you buffs use, basically. It's not really helpful right now. The cane touch, though. Mm, slightly more damage, but not really necessary. Now, blinding, though, might be useful because then I'll blind them so that they'll have less chance to attack, maybe, or less chance to hit anyway. Yeah, I'll do it. Or I could just attack. How much damage do I do? I don't know. Does it say? 13 to 16? Minimum 13. So 26 in total. Or I could do this, but that doesn't... Yeah, that doesn't kill it at all, really. Let's, let's take our chances. Well... How much damage again? Yeah, there's a... Mm, there's... Not a... Likely chance I'll kill it in two hits, but... 
Let's see. Okay, 16. So I need... I mean, other than the minimum, I need more than 13, basically. It's a 100% chance to hit, so I can't miss. Okay, good. Took some damage, though. Isn't that great? But we should be fine. Because she can heal here, actually. So. That works. Let's see, does it have a attack, attack of the opportunity? Yes, it does. So I guess I just have to hit it, but it has low health anyway, so. Bam. Everyone, heal up, please. Heal up, heal up. The princess would have your head for that language. Heal up. Move out of the fire. Okay. It's funny if they right after we won, we just burn to death. That's not very good. Anyway. Oof. Oof. Everyone's oof. We need more healing potions later. Gotta remind myself to get some grab some healing potions on our way out of this Fort Joy. Oh, I also noticed. Oh, I didn't notice the experience bar, which is right at the bottom. Reminds me of Maple Story, anyway. Quick save. Let's make a hard save. We have triumph over the fire slugs. I want to loot them, but you know, we'll catch on fire, which is not great. I wish I could get rid of the fire. I mean, I guess I can actually. I could do something like this. Let's see. Battle stomp. Oh, well, okay. It went away normally. Never mind. I was going to do a battle stomp, you know? Because battle stomp gets rid of terrain stuff. But it doesn't matter. Oh, fire slugs don't have anything. Corpse? Mm. Nope. How about you? Ooh, you you have armor, so that's good. A uh, poison dart? That's Geomancer, though. I'll oh, just grab it anyway. Now, bear skin armor is not as good as my armor, but it's good for Sybil, probably. Let's see, bear skin. Yeah. Compared to that, yeah, it's just better overall. I mean, Warfare, she doesn't really use Warfare, but Warfare also just gives her extra attack. I guess. Physical damage, anyway. Oh, but now she looks silly. You know, she looks... I don't like the shoulders. She just looks like a... I mean, you know, Horus Elf. From, like, World of Warcraft or something. She just looks silly to me. Oh, well. Again, I don't, really, I don't like armor that's too fancy, you know? The armor looks too fancy to me. Oh well. At least by comparison, uh, you know, it's... Because my armor is... My, my plate mail is pretty fancy, but now it's less fancy compared to what she's wearing, I guess. So it makes me better in comparison, I feel like. I say me. I'm going to address to you. The main character of this game. Anyway, let's explore a little bit. The shark horse. I mean, all the treasures probably are from all the dead people who came by, I guess. Knock down near a mug of beer. Children's gloves? Oh, do I need that? I don't know. Is that a quest item or is it just, just random gloves? It's probably just random gloves. I wonder if we can just grab that beer and, you know, pour it on the fire. Put, that, put out the fire with some beer. I don't know. I see something there. A yellow dot. Is that like another fire slug? Or something? Oh, it's another fire slug. Hello, fire slug. The creature before you seems to be gurgling plaintively, almost as if it's weeping. <laughs> okay. Okay, it's a sad fire slug. All right. The slug creature gurgles sadly. Sadly. I mean, if it's not going to attack us, I don't really care, I guess. Okay, over here. Mm. Potion Brewers. I mean, apparently that's good for potions? I don't know, I'll grab it, I guess. I don't know if I need it, but I'll grab it. Around here, anything else? I think that's it. Uh, so actually, did I miss that? I don't know if I missed it. Let me just go to real quick. 
Uh, boots. Oh, I don't need that. Those are some shabby boots. Hmm. I wonder what- I wonder if armor has durability. Does that- does armor have durability? Hmm, I guess it doesn't. Yeah, armor doesn't have durability. Alright. So I was wondering, you know, do you need to repair armor as well? Or something? I guess not. It's just weapons. I guess only because uh, we use weapons to destroy like doors or something. Ooh, no water balloon. That helps. A potion of healing. That's good. And plate. Sure. Let's see. Auto sword. A lot of stuff I need to like sell. Um, give that to you. Because I don't know, you're the rogue. You're the rogue, so obviously you have to drop this arming kit. Let's see. Oh, I can sit on the stool. Just sit on the... Oh, not enough space? That's weird. Oh, I gotta get, like, pick up the stool? I don't know, anyway. But what you want to do is pick up this. I've made it this far. Now there's only a little length of ground to cover. I hear them talking. These strange creatures. One is a royal, I believe. The other is her disciples? From what I can tell, they've been locked down here a long time. My strategy is stealth. I don't think that worked out. I'll sneak past them during one of the royal's more impassioned speeches, and they'll likely not even notice me. Home. To Carvel. To Rusket. To my farm again. Well... I have a feeling... One of the corpses we looted is the person that tried to sneak by the slugs, I guess. And probably because, you know, it's one of the ways to leave for joy. Though... You don't really leave, though. You just end up in the prison. So, I don't know. That's a good place to be anyway. Even considering if that person sneaked by the slugs, they probably just ended up getting killed by the magisters or sent to prison. I don't know. Oh well. Over here. Huh. We're back here. Or, say back here? We're not back here, but... Oh, I think we're, yeah. Oh, yeah, it was, uh, we saw this before, you know. This is the path that the elf showed us how to leave. And I guess what was covered, because it was covered by dirt or whatever, I didn't have a shovel. I do have a shovel now, though, so that means I can uncover those things. I don't remember every spot, so... Well, I'm not gonna, like... I'm not gonna... Go and check every single one, because I don't really remember. It doesn't matter anyway. I don't think it gives you that good loot. Also, I've noticed that, yeah, you can do also do this. Yeah, you can do the whole anime thing, right? Or this, I guess it's not exclusive to anime, but... You do the thing where, you know, you don't have to wear a helmet. You don't want to... Mm, I'm, I'm fine with the hood. That is fine. Anyway. No, well, here's the Yarrow, you know, because I killed Migo. Um, or her father, I guess. I mean, he was already gone, you know? Really cool armor, though. I wish that. I mean, I have his armor, but his armor isn't the same. I feel like the... I imagine it's because the type of armor you get is... It is dependent on your race. So that's why, for example, you know, Sibo's armor or Sibo? Sibo's armor is always different from my armor. Even though we equip the same thing. Anyway. Uh, hello? What did they do to him? What did they do to him? Leave me be! Leave! Oh, okay. I thought you would, you know, there would be more, but... Sibo shares lore with a... Adresia. Oh, for, for me. For some reason. Can I, can I examine myself? Examine you? Mm, oh, my avatar. Amazing. Attitude, 25. Oh. I guess there's nothing to do with her. I thought, I thought it would be... A, a continuation, you know, or dove or like quest or something. I guess that's it. And I guess I can go back that way if I want to escape for joy. Is there anything else I want to do? I've done a lot. Oh, I just noticed. There's a shovel over there. I, I could have just picked up this shovel, right? Or Actually, this is not a shovel. This is a paddle, actually. It looked like a shovel from far away. Never mind. I thought it was a free shovel, you know? I guess not. I'll go this way, though. Oh, yeah, there was no frogs, by the way. I wanted to kill those frogs. But I want to talk to you, actually. You sell... ...stuff, right? So warfare stuff, I don't really need. Resurrection scrolls. I do need, but they cost a lot. Uh, Expert Dance 100. 
Now we have Stunner, level 2. And I do need a better weapon though, it would be nice if we get a better weapon. A smooth belt? Hmm. I don't know if I need a belt, necessarily. I mean, it's free armor, I guess. Are you sure? I mean, do I have a belt? I don't think I do, yeah. Usually when you hover over a armor, it shows you if you wear something. Already, but no it doesn't, so I'll do that. Anything else? Visual gloves. Gloves. Daggers. Magical dagger? Is that bleeding? Or is that just normal? No, actually that's a special effect. It's that bleeding, which is interesting. Hmm. That's actually a better dagger for her. A magical dagger. It's only 100, actually. Pocket knife? Well, pocket knives are better too. In fact, yeah, I should probably buy those for her. So like a magical dagger. And a pocket knife. Do you want the stunner? The stunner is just, I don't know. The two headed mace, by the way. Which is actually better? A two headed mace, yeah, is better as well. Like, I just want the damage, you know? This one costs too much, but this one's pretty, you know, within my budget. <laughs> And I, I could just use a mace, you know, but with like a two-hander in general, it doesn't really matter for my character, I guess. I can also just use a mace anyway, right? I don't have to, have to use a sword, necessarily. I guess I got that. Oh, okay, depending on who you talk to, you get a discount. I address you, I guess, a discount because she's a soldier, right? The dialogue. Sure. Like that? Um, yeah, I don't, I don't really buy the discount. I want to save the money for buying potions, you know? And warfare books are not really necessary for me. What I also could do though, oh, since I have like, well, I have a ton of stuff actually. I could also barter with this stuff. So I could do that. There you go. I don't need these books. Uh, I don't need this book. I don't need Geomancer. Poison sounds interesting, but nah. I don't need this. The Wayne's robe. Eh, yeah, don't need it. I don't need these boots. I don't need this, I don't think. I don't have like an undead party or anything. Sell this. Sell that. Keep the shovel. Keep these. I don't know if I need this ball. I'm gonna sell the ball. Alright. And that's 500. And I guess I'll do something like this. Um, I don't want to do the math. I mean, I can press the button, but... What I could do is like do something like this, and then... Because I want to like give him, again, I don't know if it matters, but I want to give him a little bit more attitude, right? <laughs> give him a little attitude. Like, so I can do like, like, let's see. So how much attitude do I want to give him? Like if I do like 100, for example, do I just get 100 attitude of him? Is that how it works? Like 100, literally 100 gold? 99. Hmm. Is that how it works? Yeah, yeah, so I get 500 in total. And 200 in gold anyway, but he gets a little extra 99, so he can do that. So what happens if I do that? Well, it's not 99 in total, but he likes me better, I guess. Bigger discount in the future. Again, I don't know if I'll come back here, but it's the art, it's the art of the deal, you know, <laughs> or something. What do you call it? That book tells you how to like barter with people or something. I don't know. I, just, I want to build a reputation, you know, for being reasonable. Later on in the future, they'll sell me uh, weapons at uh, a better price, maybe. I don't know. Anyway, here's a pocket knife. Shivs I don't really need. Replace my weapon. Something better. More damage overall. Oh, 25, 26. That's a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage. This prison key, I don't know. i put it in my bag. I guess you put, yeah, you can have like a lot of bags. You can, like put everything in your bag, I guess. Put bags within bags. Can you put a bag within a bag? Probably. Hmm. Oh, I have apple juice and lemonade. I don't know, when did I get these? I don't remember. <laughs> did I accidentally pick them up for some reason? Oh. The soldier stands to attention. Oh, here's some more stuff, by the way. So there's, there's old stuff. You take these, you can take a broken sword. And you can take, you know, some lemonade, why not? And some apple juice. And I'll take like... I'll just, I could do like this, this. I'll take half of that. I'll take 18 gold, why not? It doesn't really matter. 
so I get more attitude. More attitude. He likes my, you know, apple juice. I, gave, I basically just gave him apple juice. Though, he is a, he's a lizard, right? Hmm. That's fine. He's a soldier. We're soldiers first. Lizard second, I guess. Or ra rather, whether or not you're a lizard. I don't know. Well, he has good stuff to sell, so I don't mind him. Anyway. Uh, I see that. Well, actually, what's that green icon? Green icon, I guess, means that they have good stuff to sell, maybe? Is that what it is? Likely friend, what do you need? Hmm. No, or maybe she's an important NPC in general. Cause I see green icons right on the mini map. No way out. No escapes. The only way out is through. Okay. Well, what do I want to do? I can fight some frogs. You know, I should do that. I, I'm gonna do that. Why not? It's funny how I, you know, I was over here a while ago. Came back stronger and better. Maybe I can do it this time. Beat these frogs, my mortal nemesis frogs. I don't know. Some of them up here. Okay, well, I can get too close. Yeah, amphibian leap. Oh, you're right in front of me. That's good. Now I'll murder you. Okay, I will smack you. And then I will smack you again. And then I will probably just kill you right here. Bam. There you go. Easy. Just smash him in the, in the skull. We're way stronger now. What level are we? We're level... Yeah, we're still level 3. But we have better armor and everything. Much more experience. I won't get close to the poison, though. Can I finish? No. Eh. Eh. It's too, still too far away, so I can't get the backlash. But... Ah. Well, it's blocked by magic armor, I guess, so it's not too bad. Hmm. Doesn't that seem to have... Yeah, doesn't know... Because I've noticed, you know, when there's a ring of, like, a swords around the enemy, there's attack on opportunity, but this one doesn't have that, so... I can maybe... Over here-ish? And then... Attack. Way more damage. There you go. Oh, who are you? Oh, I mean, I don't mind you getting closer because I, mean, I need to stab you in the face anyway. Let's see. There's one courage. Why not? We can defeat these frogs. We can do it. And well, I gotta like move. You know, I w my next perk for like a Adresia will probably be the same perk that. Uh, she has. Though, what do you need to get the perk, actually? I can just check real quick. It's the perk where you can, like, have free movement in the beginning of your turn and everything. I don't know if you can get it. Okay, okay. You have to get Scoundrel. Uh, no, that sucks. Because it'd be nice for Adressia, because she's a melee character, right? She needs to move. It's hard to move around. She uses a lot of AP to move around. Oh, well. So you charge a Fibian. Well, what I can do is just, like, knock it down with my giant hammer. That works. You know, reminds me of Maple Story. Actually, a few things keep reminding me of Maple Story. I guess reminds me of the good old days. I remember. I used to you play a paladin. You know, they used two-handed hammers. There was like that one hammer that was like basically like this. You know, that I really liked. I didn't really like all the other weapons, but I liked the, the big hammer that was basically a giant mallet. You know. So I guess in MMOs, you don't get to choose your weapons though. In MMOs, you, when you level up, you always have to change your weapons. To the appropriate level, anyway. Uh, I can't. Oh. Uh, now, what sucks about uh, Sibyl is when she's like facing against someone with attack of opportunity, I can't move around them. So now I know that I can't just move around them if they have the attack of opportunity thing. Yeah. So I need like. Well, there's probably a perk that allows you to just not, you know, get attacked with that skill, but well, I don't know. I guess I'll just hit it. That's pretty good damage, though. Even just normally, right? So, I mean, just hit it. Yeah. Easy. 600 experience. Right there. Easy. Where did Sibbo go? 
I guess she wanted, she walked out of the poison. Automatically, that's her AI. Anyway. Gold. Mage pants. Eh. Mage pants. I mean, maybe, I mean, you could like probably like switch out your armor, you know, depending on the situation. But that's all, that's too much micromanaging for me. I'm lazy. I don't want to do that every single battle and have like different types of armor. Just like, you imagine, you know, you have your entire closet with you. As you, uh, adventure and you're like, oh, magic enemies, let me just change my clothes real quick. I don't know if I want to do that. T? Armor of Frost? Ooh, spell. Resurrection Scroll? Oh, that's good. More Resurrection Scrolls. More spells here. Probably give some, like, scrolls to Sibyl so she can use it too. Uh, actually, did I... Yeah, I cooked bear skin. Oh yeah, I didn't sell this. I forgot to sell that. I should probably do that later. Though, this is probably better for her because, yeah, she only has stained pants anyway, so magic mages pants. Well, that works. Well, kind of fits. It's kind of like a... a robe. Well, I mean, it is a robe. I guess, you know, a robe thing. Mm, okay. Also, yeah, let's see. Let's give her... Armor of Frost, Cures Burning, Poison, Stun, Frozen, Suffocating, Petrified, Mining Radiance, Fireball, Mine. I was thinking, yeah, giving a Fireball in case, because maybe uh, sometimes she like gets out of combat, she can just shoot, you know, instead of stabbing, in case she doesn't want to stay too close in combat. I don't know. And maybe Peace of Mind, like that. Because she doesn't have like a buff, you know? Yeah. Some that, some that. Oh, oops, I didn't mean to do that. Lockpicks? I, I do need some lockpicks. Where? I mean, I guess we have to walk through the poison. I mean, it's not too bad. We're out of battle, so it doesn't matter. Melted dwarf? This is another scraps. Hmm... Any other frogs around here? Doesn't seem like it. It's just a bunch of poison frogs. And that's that's all that, we're, that was here. And some golden barrels. Who keeps putting golden barrels, by the way? Is it just a normal thing to do, I guess? Fish. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Loot, loot, loot. Anything else? Oh, it seems like a dead end. Oh, oh there's a chest. Mm. Well, I have this thing called a teleportation glove. Ta-da! There's some damage though, but that's fine. It's a sturdy chest. And I'm thinking like, is there any reason to go over there? It doesn't seem like it. Oh yeah. Mmm, a chest. Delicious. Delicious loot. 69 gold. Small magic armor potion? Mm, firestone grenade. Actually, it's not as not as great as it looked. You know, look at this chest, it looks so good. But actually it's not that amazing at all, really. Mm. Mm -hmm. yeah. Let's see. Yes, that's good, yeah, that's it. I mean the biggest thing is getting some experience really. Killing some frogs, killing some giant frogs. You know, this prison island has a po has a has a problem with just like rampant, dangerous animals. I feel like it's everywhere. Mm, okay, nothing here. All right, I mean that's it. I assume. I don't know. I don't know if there's a quest for anyone to like, like you know, hey guys, there's some frogs that we don't like. Can you kill them? And it'll give you like five million gold. I don't think that it's like that. Uh, Sybil, why are you still there? You can't move? Because of the poison? Just go, Sybil. Come on, just go. Okay. Anything over here? No, can't reach. Yeah, that's it. Mm, I see something over there, though. What's over here? Ooh, another chest. Yeah, I see, like, on the minimap over here. Can I... Mm, too far away. The signpost? 
don't know what that is. A little closer, maybe? Signpost? Oh. Well, actually, I'm interested in seeing what that is, so I'll put Sybil over here. You know, he just lands on her butt. Modi's place. No grown ups allowed. Except heroes. Except heroes. Well, we're heroes. Sort of. So. Okay, so Modi's place? Is this like when the kids hide out or something? Uh, once there was a hero named Modi. Modi was an eye. Also, he's a prince. One day, it was, a, it was a kingdom giving food to hungry people who went red monsters with red capes and red eyes. We happened away. They did really bad things to the king and queen. The monsters were the hero Modi in the prison. He found some friends in Dark Cave. They were nice, even though they didn't have to be. And that's how the hero found out that he could still be happy, even if people and monsters were not nice. Because some people would still be nice anyway. To be continued. Okay. Okay, shonen protagonist. What's in here? Build. Mm hmm. And contamination skill book. Why do you have that in your thing? That seems dangerous, kid. Chicken foot. Hmm. Wooden figurine. I could take these and just sell them. Wouldn't that be weird? You know what? That's capitalism, baby. Just take his own stuff and sell it back to the shop right next to him. Look, it's it's worth something, all right? Why would it cost 120 gold if nobody wanted it? You know, why would they buy it in the first place? Is what I'm saying. I assume. Okay, one of the kids is Modi. Yeah, right there. The children shall be safer. I see the good in you. I see all of you. I just wanted to kill the frogs with the experienced lady. I don't care about the kids anyway. Where is the shop guy vendor? Hello. No. Or actually, can I talk to the kid? You know, can I say like, hey, I got your stuff. Get wrecked, idiot. Die, beast, die! <laughs> okay. The child sticks out her tongue at you. Okay. Well, I'm gonna take your stuff and sell it to this guy. How you feel about that, kid? How you feel about that, kid? Some this and that. Oh, is there something else? Or actually, no, not another stuff. That's that's the dog we need to keep actually for the quest. Um, uh, figurine, yeah, the chicken foot and figurine. I don't know, just sell them. And also this book, I think. In fact, well, I should probably, I should do. Can I do it like this? No, I can't do it on the screen. Because I get a better discount as Adresia. What I should do is give it to her first. Get a better get a better like uh deal, you know. The soldier stands to attention. Okay, which doll? Sell this doll. Sell these pants, sell this thing. I don't need it, right? Yeah, I don't need it. Chicken foot. And the skill book that I don't need. Do that and then, well, I mean that's all his gold, actually. I don't need anything else. Yeah, that's fine. Whatever. Yeah, it's a better attitude of me. A lot of big discount, probably because of that. He really likes me. This lizard. And keep that doll. Yep. All right. Hang on. It is good. I see it. It is good. I see it. You hear them, don't you? Hmm. Got you. Oh, I got you. you well, nothing else to do here, I guess. I mean, that was that was. I guess that's just the cave. You know, we kill some frogs, and, and, and that's it. That's it for that place. Anything else I want to do before I attempt to leave? I, I guess. Hmm. Any other magisters want to join a rebellion? I don't know if they do. Well, actually, I want to go to the arena. I never really did much of that. I 
And also, I want to buy some potions. Anyone seen selling potions around here? I don't know if Hilda sells, sells potions. Still on your feet, eh? Still on your feet, eh? Only the finest, you know? Only the finest. Okay, she does sell some potions. Yeah, it's, it's costly, but... Yeah, it's worth it. I'll buy three. I'll buy as much as I can. Scoundrel books. Mm. One-headed weapons doesn't work for me. Just double-checking her stuff. I mean, I've seen it before, I guess. Fit for beasts. Mm. Yeah, okay. And I'll give, uh... Yeah, just give when I buy stuff, I'll just give I'll just match the price. That's fine. I keep saying I, pre I keep pressing escape, you know, to close out the window, but you don't close out of it in the dialogue thing. Let's see. Give uh yeah, three. That works. Okay. We're um not super stocked up, but we're back to equilibrium, I guess. Ooh, okay, so this huntsman stuff. Uh, but they probably require a rage weapon. The first aid doesn't require a rage weapon. Elemental arrows. No, that's I mean that's for archers. I mean yeah, I mean in general, these these huntsman skills are only for archers. For the most part. No, that works. Because I'm hoping for the some huntsman skills that I could use without like uh, a rage weapon that'd be good for Sibyl. Here's the goods. Get your pawn, then. Alright. Let's go to the arena. I never did this. I checked it out again when I played this game off screen, you know, before I recorded. And basically just went here and then came back up because I didn't want to touch it. I didn't know if this place was dangerous. You know, it seems like DLC or something. It's not DLC, I don't think. Because when I think arena, you know, any kind of game, I think like it's a DLC or something, but for some reason. Maybe in some other game, you know, like it was like a DLC thing. Mm. Over here. I mean, we're pretty powerful, level 3. You know, level 3, we're powerful, right? Anything in these bases? Any rupees? Or do I need to break them, roll into them, get some money? No? Okay. Alright. This is the arena, apparently. Where we fight. I guess. Mia. Seep. Level 5. Level 2. Level 2. Level 3. Level 3. Burnished one. Hmm. The old man looks you up and down and smiles. Will you fight? If you fight, I will watch with great interest. Okay, I was wondering, like, do, you, do I want to fight you? I don't want to fight you because you're level 5. You all, you, you all have, like, armor, though. I guess these guys don't really have armor. You have, like, super great armor, and you have armor. I mean, I have armor, too. Most of these people don't, though. They're just wearing robes. Like, in general, you know, in Fort Joey. Nice. Just nice. Hoping the next batch is better than nice. will be next. Actually, does this guy sell anything? Can we get on with this I don't know if he has love. Oh, okay, I can't, I can't buy anything here. She Mia. You up as you approach. Her eyes narrow. You've yet to experience the joy and pain of true combat, I see. Hmm. I, I have every bit of strength and skills in any warrior. Is that so? You droop like a dying willow and simper like a newborn vole. The spirit of the one requires an undaunted host. Okay, you're crazy, but also, are you insulting me? Oh, I'll smack you with my mallet. Yet I see potential in you. You have a reason to fight. A reason to fight. Can we go? I've waited this long. I'm not interested in your <laughs> whatever you're selling. I might have said the same once. Yet I can't force anyone to follow the path of the one. Are you sure you want to reject my words? No, oh, then again, you have like a two-hander. I don't know what you mean. Do you mean like the path of the warrior or something? Would that give me like a cool skill? Actually, I want to know here. What would you like to know? What about the one? Spirit of the one. Is Spirit everywhere. of the one. 
It exists beyond us. Okay, it sounds like a scam. Someday live in one of us. Ah, uh, going far. This is how we worship. This is not just an arena, but a temple too. A brutal warrior will ascend. We'll celebrate this hero as the one. As the one, as in the chosen one. I believe you could, but it's not certain. That's a tale only you can tell. Hmm, okay. Okay, so that, I mean, that explains why they're fighting each other, I guess, or at least partly, at least for her. And once we, our comrades. we, you know, we fight in mortal combat, and eventually we will get the one. And that'll be the strongest character of them all, of the most experienced in levels, I guess. Now. A deep grumble emerges from him, as if from an endless cavern. Your bones vibrate to the rhythm of his greeting. Well, get a load of you. You got swagger, I'll give you that. But I reckon I could squash you like a bug with just my left thumb. How about you try? You think I'm worried about a buzzing net? Seen dozens of wannabes just like you over the years. You're level two. Slice off butter with a flaming saber. I'm level three, buddy. I can beat you up. I ain't looking to pick a fight outside the arena anyhow. You want to show yourself off? You do it in there. It's a fighting arena. A temple of sorts, too. You step into it when it's your turn and take wax or whatever comes barreling towards you. Glad I found it. Spent half my life ripping apart men and mages. Sometimes for pay and sometimes for fun. If I've got to be stuck in here, I might as well prove I'm the one. Female. Ask if you've ever had the privilege of facing a woman in battle. The weird option, but sure. Sure, as powerful as anyone else seems to me, my blade doesn't discriminate. It cuts a woman's throat just as cleanly as any man's. Okay, I guess he's... You know, he's all for gender equality, I guess. Just like... What's his name? Kazuma? From uh, Konosuba? Anyway. Well. He bids you goodbye with a wordless grumble. Anyway. You seem like the host. Can I join like a fight, I guess? When's it gonna be They're probably saved though. Fight? I mean, this seems like an arena where if you die, you literally die. You come to fight. You come to prove yourself. You come to be worthy. There can be only one. And you have but one chance. One chance. Warfare I, always, I don't know. Why. I always just check these people. But they're not traitors. So it doesn't sound anything any good. Anything good. Um, you can only be one. You only have one chance. Well, I have infinite chances actually. There's this thing called quick saving. Let's see. I want to fight. Good. Who aids you? Choose wisely. Whether you fail or succeed, you do not fight more than once. Sibyl will join. But I guess if you fight alone, maybe you you know have less enemies. I don't know. Who are these people? On level three. Okay. 